I'd like to introduce to you PC Trend Nuclear Power Plant Simulator. This one is a pressurized water reactor, and the, spe the specific one here is the EPR, European Power Reactor, made by Arriva of France. There's three plants that are being constructed right now one in Finland, one in France, and one in China. Uh, at the beginning of the run, we click the runner icon here. And the uh, simulation start. That's a real-time one-to-one. -one. There's an atom sign spinning the electron, spinning around. And time advance, you know the simulation is going on. Now it's a steady state. Here is the reactor vessel and the white vertical bars are the control rods. The red bars are the fuels, the nuclear fuels. So most of the control rods are pulled outside the core uh, during full power operation. And this one is a uh, very big. At 100% power, the thermal power is uh, 4,500 megawatt. And the electric power it's about uh, one third, so it's about uh, 1500 megawatt electric. And at full pressure, the primary side is 15.5 megapascal. That's about uh, 2200 psi in British units. And now you don't see any change. That's because a steady state of full power. Uh, everything is very stable. And uh, in nuclear power plant operation, if you insert control rods, the power will go down because uh, control rods absorb neutron. We can see that right away. You see, uh, the rods, here the demand is 98% for the withdrawal. The actual position is also 98. Suppose we change that to 97 or 96 and at a speed of uh, 1 percent per minute uh, suppose we make it a, a little faster 2 percent per minute and you'll see the rods will go in very slowly to you know 2 percent per minute but as, as a result of the rod insertion the power will go down here is the curve of the pointer. You see, 97%, it goes down. And the count per second, that's the uh, neutron uh, monitor. And there's another very important uh, number, it's called reactivity. Uh, that's a measure of uh, how much uh, chain reactor going on. The unit's uh, percent, the delta K over K, is negative. Okay? And that means. Uh, uh, the reactor power will go down. So starting from 100%, now we are already down to 96%. But very important uh, that uh, you see the pressure and the pressurizer level are more or less constant. That's because we have the chemical and the volume control system to control a pressurized water reactor according to the design set points. There's another way we can run the uh, power reactor is by not using directly control the, the rods, but you can control the turbine. Here, suppose we click the M for manual and now it's 90%. And now we set it back to 100. I manually enter it 100 and close the window. Now the turbine wants the power go up back to 100% at 10% per minute rate. Look closely, the rod will be pulled out.
I speed it up a little, make it too tight so we can see it more visible. The rods just now was 96%, now it's 96.3%. So the power went back up to 100%. Okay. And we can go to the cursor at the top menu bar, view, and transient plot. And they have all the variables. The key variable, they are alphabetical order. So I can show you the power. Power is P, power, the core power and the neutron power and the turbine load. There are three numbers, they're slightly different. I click OK and uh, the span, let me change to 600 of the diagram and click OK. You see the color coordinated. Power of the core is the red. Power of the neutron is green point and power of the turbine is blue point. So we inside the rods the power go down to about 96 percent. And later we change the power back to 100 percent Instead of controlling the rod, we control the turbine. See? And we can also make this curve more better resolution. We change the minimum or the maximum. And we can change the uh, scale to a wider scale. So all kinds of variations are very intuitively you can do that way. And, and that's just a normal operation and you can see all the curves you want. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, nuclear power plant. It's a very highly sophisticated uh, industrial uh, plant. Uh, this is not a game, all right? And the uh, software is designed for professional people who know, work in the field. So uh, college level nuclear engineering uh, third year master PhD degree in power plant that uh, training the operators or the safety analysis and national lab or those uh, major industry uh, vendors uh, and consultant firm they use this tool to uh, analyze uh, the actual plant's uh, performance so it's a dynamic uh, simulator that uh, used can all kinds variation of normal and uh, transient or accident simulation. So continue that. We don't have to restart. We can see uh, accident. Something happened. Suppose I click the more function, and there are quite a number, over 20 of them. There's a loss of coolant accident, the turbine trip. The uh, steam generator tube rupture, those are the typical accidents could happen uh, to a PWR. And now let's assume we have a loss of coolant accident at the cold lag. I set, and uh, suppose we have a pretty large one, failure fraction, a thousand centimeters square. That's uh, pretty large. Okay, and activate and OK and close it. So I click this uh, runner, the, the little guy runner again. You see there's a large break. The water level in the vessel drop and the reactor shut down. All the control rods go. At the same time, uh, slightly later, the high pressure injection turned on. 
For EPR, there are four trends of uh, high pressure injection. And shortly later, accumulated, the nitrogen field tanks initiated. So there are a large amount of uh, emergency core coolant injected to compensate the co your coolant loss. And in the meantime, the pressure, remember, we, we were about uh, uh, 15 megapascal, and now it's only 1 megapascal. So, and this uh, refill. The water recovered from the core. And the third protection is the low pressure safety injection. There are large pumps to start up. So EPR has four trends of, of uh, protection. You see the water refill the core so the fuel do not overheat. And if I click here view and dose mimic, you see the containment display. For EPR, there are double containment, there are two layers. Inside is a steel liner, the outside the reinforced concrete. So, and uh, if you have uh, some major, see here is uh, the coolant loss to the reactor building. And all the radiation uh, monitors and the uh, containment condition are simulated here. EPR is unique that uh, uh, in case you have a uh, core meltdown, the debris inside uh, could penetrate the bottom of the vessel into cavity. And uh, without cooling, this, cap this uh, debris, we call it uh, uh, chorea, is a mixture of reactor fuel, uranium oxide, its cladding stainless steel and vessel could go down all the way down so-called China syndrome. So EPR had to protect that. There's a canal uh, slightly tilted to direct uh, the debris into another room and uh, they can offer it. They could turn on the pump to direct water into into this uh, uh, debris uh, uh, spreading room to cool it. So there are all kinds of combinations in this uh, accident combination. There are over 20 of them. So it covers uh, every possible uh, operational transient and accident. Uh, so in this brief uh, introduction, we show you how to run the uh, nuclear power plant and uh, to ensure the maximum protection to the public. Thank you for watching.